Oh, hey, good morning. You're watching today in Parliament with me, Ashwara Kapoor, and here are this morning's Parliament headlines. Private members legislative business in both houses of parliament. 19 bills in Rajya Sabha, including 13 new ones. More than 150 private bills also slated to be taken up in the Lok Sabha. Motion in Rajya Sabha for election to the Rehabilitation Council of India. Union Minister Thawar Chand Gehlot to move motion. Bill to deal with economic offenders who leave the country in the Lok Sabha. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley to move a fugitive economic offenders bill. Five new bills are slated to be introduced in the lower house. It is the 15th day of the ongoing second part of the budget session of Parliament. After continued disruptions on the 14th day on Thursday, the, Lok, the Rajya Sabha passed the payment of a gratuity amendment bill. The bill has already been passed by the Lok Sabha. Now, despite continued disruptions, the Lok Sabha during this session has also passed the payment of a gratuity amendment bill, a specific relief a rehab detention bill and the finance and appropriation bills. Disruptions over several issues have held up proceedings in both houses, leading to adjournments over the past 14 working days. The government has been repeatedly convening that it is uh, willing to discuss all the issues raised by the opposition, including the no-confidence motions. No-confidence motions by the TDP and the YSR Congress have not been taken up in the Lok Sabha so far due to lack of order. And uh, only nine more working days remain in this session. Let's go across to my colleague Kriti Mishra who is joining us live from Parliament. Kriti, the government, we understand that, uh, has reached out to the opposition to end the impasse in Parliament uh, because, you know, Vijay Goyal yesterday met opposition leaders and he's going to meet some of them today as well. So can we ex expect really some breakthrough? That's right, Eshwara. MOS Parliamentary Affairs, Vijay Goyal met leader of opposition, Gulam Nabi Azad, <laughs> yesterday at his residence and they held uh, the meeting for almost one hour where Vijay Goyal urged the opposition party and the leader of opposition to break the deadlock uh, in parliament, specifically in the upper house. He also met uh, AIADMK leader V. Metrian. Remember, the government has maintained its stance uh, since uh, the second half of the budget session began that it was ready to discuss all the issues raised by the opposition parties. In fact, uh, the government has reiterated that it was the collective responsibility of the Treasury as well as the opposition benches to ensure that the parliament functions smoothly. In fact, uh, you've seen that chairman has expressed deep anguish over repeated uh, adjournments and uh, disruptions in parliament on several occasions. Uh, He's also said uh, that he would allow discussion on all the issues under appropriate rules. He's also said that if disruptions continue like this, people would lose uh, faith uh, in politicians. Uh, the opposition also on earlier occasions said that it was ready to discuss all the issues. The <coughs> government is trying to ensure passage of key bills like the OBC bill, the anti-triple talaq bill, the protection uh, of whistleblowers bill and also motor vehicles amendment bill uh, in the uh, upper house. So let's hope after yesterday's uh, conversation of uh, MOS parliamentary affairs uh, with the opposition leaders, uh, some uh, peace prevails in the house so that uh, uh, pro-people agenda could be taken up. Uh, in fact, uh, we were talking to uh, government uh, ministers in the morning and mm. they're sanguine uh, that uh, deadlock would be resolved in the upper house so that the house could transact uh, business in the remaining days. Ashwarya? Absolutely. And because only nine days are remaining, Kriti, you stay with us. We'll just come back to you. Well, today is the day for private members' legislative business in both houses. And in the Rajya Sabha, 13 private member legislations will be introduced. Now, these uh, will also be uh, discussion really on uh, six other private members' bill. And uh, as far as uh, Lok Sabha is concerned, over 150 private members' uh, bills will be taken up. Uh, and the following private members' will uh, will be introduced in the Rajya Sabha. Let's take a look at them. Vivek Gupta will move for con introduction uh, the Education Inclusive Development and Regulation Bill 2018. He will also move for introducing the Medical Healthcare Universalization and Regulation Bill 2018 and the Ganga River Rejuvenation and Development Bill 2018. T. Subbarami Reddy will move to introduce uh, the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Amendment Bill 2018, the Railways Amendment Bill 2018 and uh, the Employment Bill 2018. Ripun Bora will uh, move to introduce the Constitution Amendment Bill 2018, insertion of new Article 21B and uh, the Companies Amendment Bill 2018. 
And uh, Sambhaji Chhatrapati will move to introduce uh, the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Amendment Bill 2018. KVP Ramachandra Rao will move uh, the Contempt of Courts Amendment Bill 2018. Narayan Lal Apancharya will move uh, the Universal Health Insurance and Healthcare Coverage Bill 2018. And Hussein Dalwai will move the Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2018 and the Prevention of a Gender Pay Gap Bill 2018. Let's go back to my colleague Kriti Mishra. Kriti, as you were just uh, telling us uh, that only nine days are left, which means uh, and the disruptions mean that you know a lot of legislative agenda is uh, overdue. Uh, of course, Rajya Sabha yesterday passed the payment of a gratuity amendment bill, but today is also the day for the private members' legislative business. Uh, that's right, uh, Eshwarya. After uh, days of impasse and deadlock, uh, the Rajya Sabha mm -hmm. finally passed uh, the first bill in the second half of the budget session. That was the payment of a uh, gratuity amendment bill uh, to benefit employees and specifically women employees that provides uh, for uh, increasing the ceiling of tax-free gratuity to 20 lakh rupees. In fact, today, Friday, is the day, uh, according to Rule 24 uh, of uh, uh, Rajya Sabha's uh, rules and procedures and conduct, that is allotted uh, for transaction of private members' bills. So around 19 uh, private members' uh, bills are slated uh, to be taken up uh, in the Rajya Sabha today. So uh, there are a few important bills uh, like the Education Inclusive Development Bill, MSME uh, Development and Regulation Bill. There's also uh, a bill that seeks uh, to abolish capital punishment and there's also uh, courts, um, uh, courts uh, contempt of courts amendment bill. So certainly uh, a heavy uh, agenda as far as uh, the Rajya Sabha is concerned in terms of uh, private members bill. Eshwarya? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kriti, for all those updates uh, there from Parliament. And also in Rajya Sabha today, a motion will be moved uh, for the election to the Rehabilitation Council of India. Thawar Chand Gehlot uh, will move uh, the motion under various sections of the Rehabilitation Council of India Act 1992, along with the relevant uh, regulation of the Rehabilitation Council of India Regulations 1997. The motion will be for the House to elect uh, in such manner as the Chairman may direct uh, one member from among the members of the House to be a member of the Rehabilitation Council of India. And Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will move uh, the Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill 2018 in the Lok Sabha today. The bill provides uh, for measures to deter the fugitive economic offenders from evading the process of law in the country. The aim of the bill is uh, to tighten the noose on economic offenders and defaulters who flee India. The bill will empower the government to confiscate any property owned by such a person in India and the proposed law will be applicable in cases where the value of offences is over 100 crore rupees. The aim of the bill is to re-establish the rule of law and also force the fugitive economic offenders to return to India to face trial for their scheduled offences. The bill also aims uh, to help uh, banks and other financial institutions to achieve higher recovery from financial defaults committed by such fugitive economic offenders. And uh, five uh, bills uh, will be introduced in uh, Lok Sabha today. Manika Gandhi will move uh, the Trafficking of Persons uh, Prevention, Protection, Rehabilitation Bill 2018. This bill aims to prevent the trafficking of persons, especially women and children, and also provides for care, protection and rehabilitation to the victims and also prosecutes offenders. Arun Jaitley will move uh, the banning of unregulated deposit schemes bill 2018. This bill provides for a comprehensive mechanism to ban the unregulated deposit schemes and protects the interests of depositors. Suresh Prabhu will introduce the Airports Economic Regulatory Authority of India Amendment Bill 2018. The bill amends uh, the Airports Economic Regulatory Authority of India Act 2008. Ravi Shankar Prasad will introduce the Commercial Courts, a Commercial Division and Commercial Appellate Division of High Courts Amendment Bill 2018 and the Arbitration and Conciliation Amendment Bill 2018. Also in the Lok Sabha today, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will also move the Chit Funds Amendment Bill 2018 in, in the lower house. Uh, the bill seeks to further amend the Chit Funds Act of 1982. The act regulates the Chit Funds and prohibits a fund from being created without the prior sanction of the state government. The bill uh, seeks uh, to use the words uh, fraternity fund under the 1982 act for Chit Funds fund business. This seeks uh, to distinguish it uh, from the prize chits uh, which are banned under a separate law. The act uh, specifies that a chit will be drawn in the presence of at least uh, two subscribers and the bill seeks to allow these uh, subscribers to join via video conferencing. Now under the act
Act, the four man is responsible for conducting the chit, is entitled to a maximum commission of 5% of the chit amount and the bill seeks to increase this commission to 7%. And that's it in this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Rajasabha are going to begin in a short while from now. Thanks for watching.